There is nothing fishy about a man or woman's love for reeling in a trophy <laughs> walleye. And that was proven to be true as hundreds of teams and thousands of spectators flocked to Lakeside Park for the 41st annual Walleye Weekend. Yeah, and Local 5's John Damo explains why it was one of the most successful weekends to date. Walleye weekend is a party centered around weighing in the biggest catch. It's kind of a mini vacation for us. We fish the two big tournaments every year and have a great time. The festival is four decades strong with 302 teams trying to outdo each other and winning isn't reserved for the fishing. We're hoping a walleye weekend to raise somewhere around, around $30,000. The majority of that comes from cheese curds. The Kiwanis Club has been selling curds at the event for 35 years. The first year we did 50 pounds, believe it or not. This year, as of this morning, I've done 2,200 pounds. Those mouth-watering golden brown balls of cheesy goodness will send your taste buds on a trip. It's cheese, it's warm, has a nice light batter on it. And you also, we, we, we can serve it with a beer. So, uh, you know, what's, what's better in Wisconsin than that? The vendors collectively raised close to $300,000. And that's only possible because of the nearly 100,000 people attending throughout the weekend. Walleye weekend's always a great time here in Fond du Lac. It's one of my favorite weekends of the year. And it can get a little crazy between all the fishing. I actually went to Boogie in the Yo-Yos last night and I lost my shoes. Did you say Boogie in the Yo-Yos? That is correct. All right, Yellow Spinners for fourth place so far. They're a good band that was playing last night. And they, they had it packed from the stage to the street. It was awesome, but I lost my shoes. How'd you lose your shoes? I'm, I'm not quite sure. So if you see a lone pair of sneakers out there, help a fella out. Reporting in Fond du Lac, John Dommel, Local 5 News.